Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, my family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right, you guys, I'm hoping I can be able to punch out a few videos of you today and um, hopefully um, things will go as I'm planning them. But you know, sometimes things never do. I think I, first of all, owe y'all um, an explanation of why I've been missing in action. Um, as I probably didn't get a chance to allude to y'all, September has been the worst month that I can think on record in my life. 26, 2017 has been one of the worst, um, actually I would have to say the worst month I've experienced. And so far it's trickling on into October, but because September came in like such a whirlwind, I've, I've, I've adapted to the point where you know, you can never prepare for death, but I'm not surprised. You know, it's, it 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 started with my best one of my best friends, female, and throughout the month I've had a couple other people that were I were was associates associates with or relatives. My aunt passed, and um, and then ultimately, what took me over the top was that my sister passed away. That was the most hurtful for me. And it took a minute for me to recover simply because exactly what I said to her was that what happened, happened. And I'm starting to look at myself as some type of, I have a lot of clairvoyant um, um, energy that's that surrounds me a lot of times and a lot of times I don't respect it the way I should and I've come to the conclusion that that is something that I will do and I have begun to do and I'm going to take it a little bit more serious um, and then yesterday I found out that my best friend uh, one of my best friends again passed away so I've been dealing with a lot of death and I've been trying to maintain some sort of normalcy because it's trying on my spirit. So I decided the best thing to do today and is to come out, is to come out with a full veggies and come out being grateful to be alive. Come out to tell each and every one of you to ex respect and acknowledge and be grateful for each day that. The creator allows you to be on this side of the dirt because you never know the day nor the time or the hour that you may be snatched from this plane of existence and um, a lot of us don't want to even deal with that reality so it's imperative that we get our business straight okay it's imperative well y'all let me move on because I'm going to talk a little bit about my sister in depth in a different video, and that one is going to be heavy. So, but before I get there, I got to talk about Donald Trump. <laughs> and I have to say to anybody at this point that doesn't think that Donald Trump is a malignant or a nurse, a severe personality, cluster B type of person then there is something extremely wrong with you. You are the problem. If Donald Trump is normal to you, if, Don, if you don't have a problem with how he communicates, how everything is grandiose, and, oh, 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 it's going to be fun. Uh, you have a psychological disorder. You have a personality disorder. Because just like real recognize real, you should be able to recognize if you are healthy that this man... Even if you're on the way to getting healthy, you should have a clear um, definition of what healthy looks like. And Donald Trump is not it. I don't care if he got money. Y'all think crazy people don't have money? 
I mean, what does money have to do with anything? In fact, if he has the money that he says he has, I, I, I beg to differ and think that he just has the name. And the name generates money. It generates finance. It generates, ooh, Trump. But, um, but you know, things aren't always as they appear. But let me say one thing. Anybody who will go to a tornado-ravaged country, part of your country, Puerto Rico, you claim Puerto Rico because you want the beauty of the island, the beauty of the habitat that that natural people are a part of. But when it comes to the actual in uh, uh, natives of Puerto Rico, you have a problem with. And if that didn't she, uh, reek with sheer racism and prejudice and all that stuff to y'all, I don't know what does. You have to remember he's the president of the United States. And unfortunately, these states aren't united. So we need to find another name for our ass. <laughs> Ununited states. That's what we should be called. So we fair game to anybody that want to come in and kill us. Period. If they had the balls. Because we're not united. There's nothing united about these states. It's a cesspool full of race uh, baiters. It's a cesspool for delusional people who have been given privilege and think they're better than other people because they were brought over here and made to work. So be just by virtue of that, you have some people walking around here and they have devi devised a whole system of mistreatment of one group of people and then you have another group of people that think that's perfectly okay and that that is lifestyle that they're the delusion that they're living is going to be that way forever i contend that people of color are um all over the world are waking up and we are like an idea whose time has come and you people that are in the control group Either you are going to, uh, you know, understand that this is what's happening. It's a spiritual thing. You can't stop it. And those who are not in a control group, we realize that power concedes nothing without a demand. And so this is what you're seeing now. You're seeing the demand for justice ringing out all over this land. And to have somebody as ignorant and as crazy as Donald Trump to be the president at this particular time in our history just goes to show you what they're trying to usher in. The Koch brothers have done a wonderful job of putting racists in place, the racist government, the governors all throughout America. And because the fear of the numbers of the Caucasian is really at a panic level. They have decided, as they always have, that they are going to control us with laws. They are going to control us um, or destroy us by wiping us off of places and climates that we live. And they are going to do Mother Nature a little help with harp and take some of these national disasters and make them magnify. This is my belief. And you can't do nothing about it. That's what I believe. So what I saw Donald Trump, what I saw in him was a sheer person with no empathy, a person that is in so much into himself that he has no place in the uh, presidency. He has no business in that position. And anybody that has any ounce of sense, any grain of sense, knows that this man has problems beyond belief. This problem, this guy is mentally ill. He's a severe narcissist, a severe and maybe malignant, the kind that a, the dangerous kind that a, a hurt somebody. He's not harmless. He's not harmless because his ego is so out of control that if you mess with somebody like that, like we all are, he's best around to get us killed. Okay, so. Not only does he have to go, um, the governors and the people around this Koch brothers, um, this Koch brothers, lock arm, stick it to America, 
and especially black and brown people type of attitude. We got to deal with it. Got to deal with it. All right, y'all. I'm going to go. I'll be back later with some more videos. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I missed y'all so much. And I'm so glad to be back. Talk to you later. Bye, family.